Hey Taurus, Everlong Mystic here. Today we're going to do a Tesla trap spread for you. And I am using a mix of the Mystical Shaman and the Spirit Animal Oracle for your Tesla numbers. Inner Journey is the Fountain Tarot and Outer Journey is Smith Weight. And uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna get started here. I will link in the description box the the link to Wrestling Around's website because that's where I got the Tesla trap spread from and um, he gives a lot of information about it and it's an awesome spread. Okay, so Taurus, inner journey. Okay, so we have King of Cups here and this is emotional stability. So your quest for emotional stability. And then we have Wheel of Fortune. And this Wheel of Fortune, it's like, it feels very, it feels very chaotic. But you see, like, you, there's, it's weird, it's like there's all this chaos going around, but you're, you're in the center, but you're maintaining it's like you're you're maintaining your stance here and that's kind of like what this king of cups is doing there's there's all this you know these choppy waters here but he's sitting there balancing his cup on his knee very calm very still so there's some kind of like inner inner peace there's some kind of inner peace that you're working on taurus Oh, so, and we have the lovers. So you have the lovers and the wheel of fortune. Those are two major energies that are going on internally with you. And this lovers here, this is, I mean, this is going to be a lot of things. I'm not really getting the whole decision choice of the lovers that sometimes comes through. I'm, I'm getting like a union type energy here. I feel like it's it's you coming you coming into union with yourself really because if you if you notice here like there's this like they're sitting down here and there's like this pyramid shape here the most intense powerful part of the pyramid where all the energy all the magic all the all the power is in the pyramid is in the bottom third right here right where this it's like right where you're touching right where you're touching your fingers like you and you you know what I mean it's like your your spark your power so it's like you're trying to find you're trying to find your spark you're trying to find your power all, all while there's you know even like well while, while there's some kind of emotional chaos around you but there's no storm here. There's no storm here in the lover's card. So it's finding your peace and your power, Taurus. All right. So internally, if you find your peace, you find your power, you remain calm, you remain strong, you you ignite this thing within you, between you and you, how do you apply it to the external world? So you have the star. You have the hermit. And you have the king of pentacles. That is different. Alright, so... This emotional stability, this this internal struggle to find, you know, your peace, your strength, your power, your light, that is that is such a healing, it's such a healing energy. That that is what's going to heal you internally. And what you know, once you are healed and the spark comes out, that is when Taurus you're able to share that healing with others. 
And look, you're, you're pouring this water into this calm pool, this calm, serene pool of water. Nothing like what you had to deal with internally. It's like you're, it's like you are going to be able to bring calm waters. Because you've gone through this, you're going to be able to bring calm waters to others. And this, this calm water that you're bringing to others is something that they wish for, something that they dream about. And this here, this hermit, this is another big energy. So you've got one, two, three, you have four, four of the six, of the six tarot cards here are, are major arcana, Taurus. This is big stuff. And you have this, this hermit, and the hermit, he's, you know, he's carrying his light. And where, where do you think he found, where do you think you found this light? Right here from your inner journey. It's uh, it's the touch point. This touch point is the light, your power, your spark. And you're car you're carrying it for you can carry it for others, Taurus. And this King of Pentacles here, this is this is your success. It's a pentacles. It's the outside world. It's applying what you've what you've done, what you've learned, what you know, what you are to the outside world with, with complete success. So what's the trap? What's your trap, Taurus? What are the two, the two extremes that keep you stuck? So the two extremes we have here are Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion, and then we have rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. So how is this your trap? I'm just seeing this dragonfly spirit as, as a fear. There's some kind of fear, like fear, like fear of transformation fear like not I don't know like what's what's the word like um, like self like confidence like you're not I don't know like you're not sure that you can it's like you're not sure that you can complete this inner journey I mean we can see right here that it's comp totally freaking worth it and you will be successful once you do this but it's fear, it's fear of doing it, fear of transforming, fear of doing the work. And here with this rabbit, it now is a lucky time. It's like, it's weird. It's like, you know, you know, you're, you're fortunate. You know, you're lucky. You know, you're magical. You know, you have a spark. You know, you, you know, all these things that you can do. Yet you're afraid to transform. I don't 100% understand why this is your trap, but this is what it is. And, and it is interesting that this card is number 22. This is 2022. It's almost like it's a sign that you, it's, it's time. It's time to it's time to let this fear go. It's time to transform. It's like, uh, like with this lover's card, like this point of contact here with you and yourself, this spark of light. It's like, that's what's inside this flower here. This spark of light. That's, that's what's, that's how you're going to, to fly out, to transform. And like this, you know, it's blue. It's like, you're supposed to you're supposed to communicate it. You're supposed to verbalize it. You're supposed to share it with others. But you're, but you're afraid that you can't do it. You're afraid that you're not able. I don't know. So what's the key? So what's the key to breaking from, breaking from the trap? The key here is card number nine, 
which is koi fish. There's always enough. There's always enough. So, koi fish is telling me, yeah, it says there's always enough, but what koi fish is really telling me here is that it doesn't matter what people think about you. It's something about what people think about you because it, and it's also about perspective. It's like, you know, like a big fish in a small pond. A koi fish can grow really big in a small pond in some, I don't know, it's like, it doesn't matter if people think that you're greater than you are. It doesn't matter if people think that you're less than you are or if you think you're less than you are. There's always, there's always enough in you. All it takes is a little spark. It just takes you reaching your spark. Your power, the, your point of power. There's always enough light within you. It's just knowing you can do it versus thinking that you can't. That's, that's the key, Taurus. So if you can, if you can use this key to break free from the trap, Taurus, then a possible outcome for you. Here we go. Turtle spirit. Slow and steady wins the race. How do you think King of Pentacles gets here? King of, King of Pentacles is slow and steady and the King of Pentacles wins the race. It's just confirmation. Confirmation that you are supposed to go through this internally so that you can share this externally and win the race. And look, you have magician. You have everything you need. Oh my gosh, that's like, that's exactly the, the key. The key to breaking the trap. The magician, you have everything that you need. You can do it. You can totally do it, Taurus. And look. Here's another slow and steady wins the race card. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, it's a lot to carry sometimes. But you know what? It's a 10. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're at, you're like at the, at the finish line, you know? Reaching the finish line is in your future. If you can use this key. Alright Taurus, this is your Tesla Trap reading. I hope it helped you some, some way, in some way, and I thank you for embracing your inner mystic, and I will see you next time. Bye Taurus.